everyone. I've been out with my shaving foam again today. Um, I completely ran out of, of backgrounds from the shaving foam um, video that I did the last time and loved them so much that I decided to make some more. Um, and on my video I had um, quite a lot of questions um, regarding what other types of paints and sprays that you could use because I use, let me just grab them, I used these fabric spray paints. These were from the works in the UK um, and they're really cheap fabric spray paints. Um, it, it says 4 99 on the package but they weren't. I ordered them online and they were in the sale and uh, £2, £2.50, something like that springs to mind. And then I had um, an offer. Sometimes the works has an offer where you either get free postage or 25% off and free postage. And I got 25% off and I ordered several packs of, of these. Now, these are not great to spray through. The nozzles are, are not brilliant. But for what I've used them for, they're just absolutely great. I'm so glad that I picked these up. So, you know, less than less than a couple of pounds. So I used those um, fabric sprays again. Um, I used Distress paints, I used a mixture of Dela Rowney, um, Metallic paints and Bombay ink. I used Distress paint um, as well and I'll show you. Oh, I tried alcohol inks as well. Alcohol inks don't work. It completely disintegrated the shaving foam so, um, so don't bother trying that because it just leaves uh, gaping great holes. But I'll just whisk through these. Let me just put those ones to one side for a, for a minute. Oh, I've sort of put them into various bundles so that you can see what they look like. So these were distress paint and I put the dis distress paint on because it's got a dabber. Using, I took the lids off and just used my pipette and just grabbed a little bit and dotted it onto um, the shaving foam. Then used my um, skewer just to make a pattern um, in it. You could use the end of a paintbrush if you haven't got a, a skewer. Um, so that's what those look like. Um, really, really pretty. And some of these, um, that was distress paint on the bottom and then I'd put a stencil, when I was using the spray paint, the fabric paints, I'd got a stencil on the top and took a second pull. So that's a mixture of, of both. These are Radiant Rain sprays, um, so these are gorgeous. You won't pick up the mica on that, as is that one there. That, that one was when I took to putting my stencil to the right hand side and then just putting a piece of paper over the top and that was stuck underneath. So that was just a post-it note left over from Christmas. So let me just flick through some of these. I mean, they're just gorgeous, so pretty. This might have some of the spray um, fabric paints on as well. I can't remember. But uh, in fact, that is. That's the Radiant Rain on the bottom and then um, the fabric sprays over a stencil um, on top. And you can see that I've used a mixture of different types of um, paper. Um, I don't know whether you're picking up that sparkle. Absolutely gorgeous. This was done on the contents page, the index page of an atlas. That was done through a flower stencil but just gorgeous, really, really lovely. I think that one's a mixture of Radiant Rain and the fabric paints on, on top. So that's those. These are all done with De La Rowney metallic paint and Bombay ink. Um, and Mika, if you're watching, um, can you see that I've used your, your stencil on these as well? That worked really well, thank you so, so much. That, that was um, the um, TV pages of um, the Sunday Supplement. <laughs> I picked it up, we stayed in a hotel a few weeks ago when we went to Ledbury for the weekend and um, I thought, oh, that's interesting and, and nabbed it. That was a piece of um, hymnal paper, atlas paper, hymnal again. But uh, Mika, that's your stencil um, again. But just so effective, Just I, I just love these. Just book book paper that was out of a kid's book. A kid had obviously um, child had dropped their book um, the last time I went to the motorcycle museum and I picked it up. So that's what um, that is. Music paper, hymnal, but just just gorgeous. And then a piece of um, oh, coffee coffee filter. I use some of the neon um, Bombay inks for those. 
and then these are done with the spray paints again some of these have got radiant rain um, underneath but I just think these are so interesting that's out of a piece of um, out of a music score playtime sonatina school but just look just gorgeous So if you haven't already seen my marbling video, um, go and check it out. I'll see if I can work out how to put um, a link, which I shall leave in the description below if I can work out how to do it. <laughs> I'm getting better at my editing and, um, and link sharing. I love that one. But yeah, as I say, just shaving foam and um, just then mixing it with a skewer. You'll see how I did it if you go and check out my previous video. And, um, and stencils but just really interesting. And um, then I did a video showing how to make um, some tags and ATCs using these sorts of backgrounds. So um, that's another one for you to check out as well. And I'll see if I can work out a link. If not, I shall do it on a, on a playlist. But I've, I've got to learn how to do these things, haven't I? So there we go, some um, interesting backgrounds. Anyway, hope you like those. Take care. See you all again soon. Oh, before I go, um, forgot these as well. These were the pieces of kitchen roll that I used to mop up um, the ruler. When I was scraping the shaving foam off the pieces of paper right at the very end, um, I was using um, kitchen towel just to um, take hold of the shaving foam. And these are, these are those. So when they're dry and, and ironed, they're still a bit damp then I can do something cool out of those as well. Anyway, that's it. I'm off.